Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to install Daisy UI in React projects. I have made a fresh installation of React over here. If you don't know how to install React on your computer, I will put the link on the description. I have uploaded a video about how to create a React project on Windows. Okay, let's get started. First of all, let's go to Daisy UI website. Uh, the version that I'm going to install on my computer is version 4 and the version 5 is coming soon but right now it's still a beta version so I won't teach you how to install it so we are going to go with version 4 okay and then go to install over here in order to use Daisy UI on your project you need to make sure that you need Node.js and Tailwind CSS uh, I have installed Node.js and I have created React projects the next thing that I will do is to install Tailwind CSS uh, the Daisy UI version 4 support Tailwind version 3 if you click on the link over here it will redirect you to Tailwind version 4 so the version 4 will work with Daisy UI version 5 uh, but that one is the beta version so we are going to install Tailwind version 4 because it's compatible with Daisy UI version 4 so Tailwind version 3 compatible with uh, Daisy UI version 4 okay click on get start and then go to framework and then go to feed over here so this is how you uh, install Tailwind with Vite. So I will skip the first step because I already create React projects over here. And then the next step is to copy this command. You will see over here is will specify Tailwind CSS version 3. Copy that code and put it over here. And if you go to package.json, you will see Tailwind version 3 over here. Okay, the next thing that you have to do is to run this command npx tailwind cds init dash p, then paste this over here. Okay, you will get post cds over here and tailwind.config.js. Uh, in tailwind dot config dot js you copy this code content and put it on your project here just remove this content and replace it with this content okay the next thing in index the CSS just add tailwind directive over here in source in index the CSS we are going to remove everything because it is the default template that come with a uh, react project save it and the next thing run npm run dev so npm run dev over here in app uh, I'm going to remove all component over here and then I'm going to create a new component ra apps ce and enter and then let me save let me copy the sample code over here and put it inside div here save it and let's see on the application if tailwind work see it's work so we've successfully installed tailwind the next step we are going to start installing uh, Daisy UI okay we copy this command from the documentation we paste this over here okay the next step add Daisy UI to tailwind.config.js copy this one and add it to plugins in tailwind.config.js over here paste it here and we are done next how to use it so let's try to create this button just copy this code and put this over here app.jsx 
I put BR here and down here I just paste the button let me format the code format document okay let's take a look over here refresh it oh I forget to run npm run dev to start the application again press ctrl and click on this link you will see the button over here and it's work perfectly so let's go back to the CUI documentation how about this button and let's see save it go back to application here see it's work perfectly all right this is all about this video if you like this video feel free to like and subscribe and you can delete this app CSS.